So hello everyone, my name is Mark and welcome to a new team review video on my channel. In this video I'm going to show you the best way to play with Arsenal, in my opinion of course, at this moment in FIFA 21. I'm going to show you the best formation, lineup, tactics and instructions. So if you want to try it out yourself, make sure you will watch the whole video, set everything the same up like I did. And yeah, try it out in online matches and let me know in the comments what you think of it and what your results are. I'm really curious about that. Uh, but before we begin, I really want to ask you to drop a like under the video. I will really appreciate it if you will do that. You could also subscribe to my channel. I'm doing lots of tech videos and also tutorial videos, all FIFA 21 stuff. So if you are interested in that, make sure you will hit that subscribe button. All right, we're going to start with the formation. It's a 4-2-3-1 narrow formation. I'm going to the lineup. Uh, Leno is the goalkeeper. Ballerine is the right defender. Two centre-backs, Gabriel and David Luiz. Um, yeah, these centre-backs are in defending really good, but keep in mind that they are not really fast. 60 a 61 pace is not really fast, but there's also not a really good alternative to play, uh, in my opinion. You have Mustafi, but he is even slower. We have Mari, he is even slower. You have Chambers, he is a bit faster with 66 pace, but yeah, on the defence. He is just worse here and that five pace extra is not uh yeah not enough in my opinion so there is not a really good alternative to play as a uh yeah as a center back sometimes i'm using fullbacks as a center back you can use cedric he is faster with 76 but high attacking and medium defensive work rates is not a really good thing in uh yeah in in this formation because you don't want a center back who is running forward all the time so yeah it's a bit weird you also have ballerine high attacking and low defensive so that's not really good and Tierney has high high so yeah I think this is the best choice but if you think to play with Cedric there if you can do that be my guest but for my feeling this is the best option all right we already said Tierney is on the left of the defense now we have two central defensive midfielders uh this guy party he's a really good central defensive midfielder so he's playing as the most defensive one we have Odegaard. uh he is not a central defensive midfielder uh, but he can play as a central midfielder and yeah with the medium medium work rates he has a really good passing so he's more like a playing like a playmaker not a really defensive midfielder but more a playmaker passing the ball around that's very good in uh 78 pace 70 yeah 78 pace is really good for a central defensive midfielder so he is fast he can pass he can dribble so that's a pretty good thing to have on that position and party he is the most defensive midfielder he needs to recover all these balls all right then we have three attacking midfielders pepe is the one on the right side lacassette is the central one and william is the one on the left side and we have the striker abu mayang he is really fast of course with 90 pace so make sure you will watch him making the runs i'm going to show you the instructions later but he is going to make some lovely runs for you give him this through ball so you can create really much one-on-one -on -one goalkeeper chances uh, with that all right, let's go to the tactics. I choose drop back with a width of four bars and a depth of four bars. And the reason why that is, is because the center backs are really slow. So you want everybody to come back uh, immediately when you lose the ball to help the center backs and yeah, keep uh, the chance that they are in dangerous situations as less as possible. So drop back everybody needs to come back especially party Odegaard the the fullbacks need to be coming back really soon so it's not uh, that I like to play drop back the most because I don't I really don't like defensive play but for Arsenal I think it's the best way to play else you will be too weak on the defense uh, the offensive style is balanced with a width of seven bars plays in the box six bars corners of free kicks both three bars now we're going to the instructions. Uh, Ballerine stay back while attacking. Um, the center backs just default, and the Tierney, the left one, uh, left defender, also stay back while attacking. So you want the fullbacks to be back all the time to help the center backs out on the defense because they are too slow most of the times. So if you are playing against uh, squads with fast strikers, 
Atini is going forward, a Bellerine is going forward, you will be very weak on the defense. So Bellerine and Tini needs to stay back. Party also stay back while attacking and Cavacente, so he's the most offensive midfielder. Then we have Odegaard, uh, get forward and cover center. Uh, so he's the most attacking one and he has medium, medium work rate. So that's why I instruct him to get forward else. It could be that he's not going forward. And yeah, that's a waste of his, uh, yeah, his qualities. You want him forward and be there to pass the ball, to give the assists, etc. Um, then we have Pepe get into the box for the cross. There it is. Like I said, get into the box for the cross. And William, get into the box for the cross. And then we have Aboumayang. Stay central and get in behind. And as I already said, make sure when you have the ball to watch for Aboumayang. Make sure that you will watch him making these runs behind the defense of your opponent. And when he is going to run, give him a through ball. And when he is through, you can score really easy, easy goals with that. All right, that's it. This is, in my opinion, the best way to play with Arsenal. Uh, let me know in the comments if you agree or not. And hopefully, if you try it out, it will give you some wins, of course. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye.